Godspeed and party on. Spencer Lazar for MMAinterviews.tv here with Jamie Tony Just got a stoppage victory there, submission victory. How are you feeling after that? I feel pretty good. It's not what I wanted to do, but, you know, a win's a win, and I'll take it. Um, you know, I wanted to stand and bang, but obviously he wanted to take me down. So I'll play that game with whoever, you know. I'm fun. You're pretty well-rounded there. Obviously, you did want to stand, but your jiu-jitsu looked great tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I work on it a lot. Got an uh, alliance black belt up there that's training with me a lot. I go down to West Coast Jiu-Jitsu, and I work with Brian Espinosa on my jiu-jitsu there, too. And I just constantly just keep improving every day. It's helped to have Rodrigo now in the gym at Boston Rins Elite MMA now for you? It's great to have Rodrigo there because I don't have to travel as much. So it's uh, And he, he shows me I'm back to my roots again, which is great, which is great. We know you're from West Virginia originally, just got MMA sanctioned in West Virginia. How do you feel about that? I am going to fight in West Virginia before I retire, and I think it's one of the things that's kept me fighting for a long time, because before I, before I decide to quit and give it all up, I'm going to fight in my home state because I'm tired of traveling everywhere but my own state. It's ridiculous that these states won't sanction MMA. It's, sa it's safer than boxing. It's safer than football. There are less injuries tonight than there is in one single football game, and then none of them is going to require surgery, I guarantee you. And give us a little insight on how things are going at Boss Runes Elite MMA, and uh, I know you train and teach there. Right. Uh, Boss just opened a new gym last September. Everything's going great. Memberships are through the roof. Our kids program is huge. Um, I'm teaching a bunch of bad classes, which we didn't used to have, and now I'm teaching probably 11 or 12 a week, and there are always no less than eight people in every class. I mean, it's every class is great. I know you beat a guy who actually made it on the Tough Show, the Santos Lesnar Tough Show, in two minutes, so you're a little disappointed you didn't get on, but obviously you're rooting for him to do well on the show now. Yeah, I wish the best for Anthony. He's a tough kid. He's uh, got a bright future, and he's still young, and I hope I wish him the best. I hope he did real well. I hope it opens his eyes, and uh, he goes different places and trains other than just staying in his own little little uh, gym. I hope he gets out and and just tries to broaden his horizons. He needs to work on his jiu-jitsu, and otherwise he's got it covered, you know. So Tell us your record and a little bit of background in your uh, fight career. I am about 20-6-1. Um, I've been fighting for a long time. I started in jiu-jitsu. Uh, I'm a brown belt. And then I went and moved to Ohio about uh, a year ago, or actually three years ago, and I trained with a bunch of ex-Olympians, uh, All-Americans, national champions, and learned wrestling the hard way. They didn't have wrestling where I went to high school. So I learned all that stuff the hard way by being thrown on my head and getting right back up and going right back at it. And those guys respected me, and I, I learned. And it, uh, it showed tonight. Guy couldn't take me down. So. Okay, there you have it. Jamie, Tony, look for him. Take a class out there at Boss Runes Elite MMA. I'm sure he'd welcome you. One more thing. One more thing. I'd like to thank my sponsors tonight. Fear No Evil, Zach Brown, and Chris Brackett. Thanks, thanks for all your uh, help, guys, and I appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you in the future. Godspeed and party on.